Well, we're talking about storm Ophelia, and in those areas that haven't had power cuts, and a lot of parts of Ireland, Northern Ireland, are being affected in that way. But for, for many places, streetlights have come on, and the sun has gone red, and the sky's turned a bit red, and the answer is, well, I've no idea. But, oh, I was going to ask Sarah Keith Lucas, but that's not looking... Oh, there she is, she's back. So, this red sky and this red sun, what's going on? Well, Simon, it's all linked in with the influence of that ex-hurricane Ophelia, which is affecting western parts of the British Isles, of course, but it's drawing in this warm, tropical flow of air. And mixed in with that warm, tropical air is quite a lot of dust that's been picked up from the Sahara Desert and moved its way northwards here towards the UK. So if you did see a quite peculiar looking reddish sunrise through this morning and a bit of a bit of a hazy sort of hue to the sky today, that's all down to the fact that we have got that really warm tropical air in place here and all the Saharan dust in the atmosphere too. So it's not only affecting the colour of the sky and the sun, but it's also pushing our temperatures up too. So temperatures here across the southeast of England, 22 or 23 degrees. That is well above average really for this. But it's also pushing our temperatures really for this further west where we've got the very dangerous weather conditions of course today with that ex Ophelia. It's so let's look at the forecast for so today and of course it is all eyes towards the west because that's where we've got the strongest of the winds. So Hurricane Ophelia as it was a few days ago, if we look at the satellite image that was sitting across the Atlantic during Saturday, it was a Category 3 hurricane. It's been weakening somewhat as it's pushed its way northwards and eastwards towards the UK and towards Southern Ireland too, where we're feeling the strongest impacts of that storm. So it's a deep area of low pressure, lots of isobars around this area of low pressure, meaning the very strong winds that we've already seen. We've already had reports of one loss of life as well in Southern Ireland. So the winds have gusted already above 96 miles per hour and the eye of that storm is pushing its way gradually further northwards across western parts of Ireland into Northern Ireland too where we could well see 80 mile per hour gusts of wind. It is quieter elsewhere across the country, particularly central and eastern parts of England. That's where we've got drier, brighter conditions, certainly a lot less windy, but very mild with temperatures around 22 or 23 degrees. Now, as we head through into the evening hours, we're going to see those very strong winds, 80 mile per hour gusts, not only across Northern Ireland, but also into North Wales, parts of Northwest England and through the central belt of Scotland. So a very windy night to come. There'll be some rattling windows, I think, as that storm pushes its way slowly northwards and eastwards, likely to disrupt, disrupt travel quite significantly as we've got those severe gales. So we're likely to see disruption to ferry crossings, for instance, as well as travel on the roads as well. Now, as we head through tonight into Tuesday morning, the strongest of the winds will start to ease a little bit, but still very windy across Scotland in particular by first thing tomorrow morning, a mild night with temperatures around 11 or 12 degrees. Now, during the day tomorrow, it is a bit of a quieter day. Still quite windy across northern parts of the country with some showers around. Further south, it's mostly dry, a little bit fresher, around about 13 to 17 degrees, but some rain working into the southwest, I think, later on in the day. And that slightly quieter theme continues as we head through into Wednesday too. So it's looking like a less windy spell of weather as we move towards the middle part of the week. Some drier weather around, I think, for many of us on Wednesday, but a bit of rain still likely to linger through the Midlands and parts of eastern England. And temperatures will be between around about 12 to 18 degrees or so. So it's very stormy out in the west today, quieter elsewhere across the country. Do keep your eye on the latest weather warnings, though. You can find them on the BBC Weather website. But for that, for, from here at Emmett's Garden for now, back to you, Simon. Well, hang on a minute, Sarah, because Gary Lineker has just tweeted with a picture of this red, red sun and saying the end is nigh. I mean, he's a, he's a grumpy old whatnot, but can you, have you, can you see the sun where you are? Is it red? Where we are, it's kind of yellowy orange hue to the sunshine here. It is actually really hazy, quite an unusual kind of looking sky. Um, but I have been hearing reports of a very red sun across many parts of southern and southwestern England too, all down to that Saharan dust that's being drawn in. So we're really a byproduct of the ex-hurricane that's out towards the west at the moment. Give your cameraman a drink, I owe him for that. Thank you very much. We'll have more on Afternoon Live a little later. Following the general election,